why is my life so boring compared to others? Well, this seems to be a more and more common question and you might want to take a look at this video as the things I'm about to share can be really helpful. Scandinavian Bob here, hi. This channel is all about reducing anxiety and discovering interesting biohacks and self-improvement tricks in order to build a stronger self. So consider subscribing, click on the little bell icon and let's get going. Why is my life boring? If we are asking ourselves that question on a regular basis, does that mean we should try to make our lives more interesting? Or does it just mean that we have wrong expectations? Well, it's both. Let's start with Facebook, Instagram and all the other social media platforms. Now, most of you already know that what most people are posting does not represent their lives. 95% of people only share the best moments and you have to realize that no one's life is what it looks like on social media. Yeah, I know you know this already, but you see the problem is that we tend to forget it and so it still affects us. Now, since you are looking at it on a daily basis it goes into your subconscious mind and because our daily lives cannot match all the highlights of course your brain is going to point out to you that hey your life is boring and so now you say yeah 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 I know all that so it does not affect me <laughs> well don't be so sure about that you see your brain is a computer that is being programmed all the time and all the stimuli around it is doing the programming so Everything affects us in one way or another, even if we don't notice it right away. And speaking of stimuli, here comes another reason why you should consider spending less time on social media. The social media platforms are now built in a way that they affect your brain's reward system. With all the comments, likes and notifications, they are almost like a slot machine. And this means that they also keep your dopamine elevated. Now this is not your fault. Listen, they are designed that way to make sure you stay there for as long as possible. Why? Well, because the longer you stay, the more money they earn. Now, here's the deal. If you've been watching my videos, you know that constant elevated levels of dopamine can lead to a desensitized reward center in your brain. And what happens when the reward center gets desensitized? Well, then everything in your life becomes less interesting. Now, wait a minute. Less interesting. That means more boring. Ah, see where I'm going with this. You don't believe me? Well, let me ask you this. Have you ever tried reading a book after hours on your smartphone and after weeks of high stimulating video games? Even if it's a good book, reading now seems boring as hell after all that high stimuli you've been exposed to. Now, the desensitization is not an on-off thing and some are more desensitized and some are less and it's not static either. The reward center constantly keep adjusting so you can actually have more dopamine receptors one week, less the other week and then two weeks later even more again, depending on how hard you've been hammering it with stimuli. A good way to look at it is like a pleasure thermostat. So now you understand why you should limit your social media use. First, because you start comparing yourself to others. And second, because all the high stimuli is changing your pleasure thermostat. The ironic part is you keep doing it because you are bored. But in the end, it actually causes you to become even more bored. And if you have a boring life, then what you should also be doing is setting goals and going after them. This is so important, yet most people never do this. And if you feel that you have a boring life, then for you it's especially important. If you already have goals, then also take a look at them to make sure you have a good ratio of away from goals versus towards goals. You see, goals like I will quit smoking or I will stop fapping or I will stop eating sugar. Those are all away from goals. You are giving up things that are pleasurable just to stay away from pain further down the road. And that's not really motivating. Now, I'm not saying that you shouldn't have those kind of goals because you should. But I am saying that you also need goals where you are moving towards something you want. Like, for example, building an online business or starting a blog. 
or bench pressing 300 pounds and so on. You get the picture. So if you feel that you have a boring life and you already are doing goal setting, then you might want to check so that you do not only have away from goals. Setting goals will make your life more interesting and it will make it easier to feel that you have a purpose. Purpose means less boredom and hey good news now that you are limiting your social media use you also have more time on your hands to work on your goals and so now you say i don't have any motivation to set goals so i have to wait until i get motivated oh well fair enough except you'll be waiting forever then You don't wait, because that's like saying, I need to warm myself in front of the fireplace before I go out and gather some firewood. No, you need the firewood first, then you can make the fire. The idea with finding good goals is to just start, and soon you'll find that you start to become more and more interested and motivated, and then perhaps you adjust your goals a bit as you find something else more interesting. And that's fine. That's exactly how it's supposed to work. So if you want an interesting life, write down what that would look like and then start working on getting that life piece by piece by setting those goals. Now, of course, you will still be bored from time to time. Everyone is. But with goals, you at least have something to aim for and that will instantly eliminate at least 40% of your boredom. And then when you still are bored, you keep going in the face of that. The last advice I would like to give is to spend more time with friends. Humans are very social. Yes, even introverts. Heck, I'm personally a first class introvert. And it took me a long time to realize that even if I like my alone time, I am most often in a good mood after having had people around me. So to sum it up, become a digital minimalist and cut down on your social media use. Set goals and start working on them. And instead of trying to keep up with your friends and relatives on social media, go and give them a visit. Maybe they'll give you some free food. (laughs) Who knows? Alright, I hope you found this informative. Consider subscribing for more and I will be back with a lot more. This is Scandinavian Bob signing out for today and as always I wish you all the best in your journey to become the strongest version of yourself. And remember, as Winston Churchill used to say, if you are going through hell, keep going.